Today, there are more than 1,500 active volcanoes on Earth. About 50 erupt every year. Scientists working across the world are unearthing evidence of a cataclysmic event, a mysterious eruption that could have been one of the largest in human history. Here in the heart of London, in the 1990s, archaeologists uncovered a surprise. They happened upon a series of mass graves on the edges of the burial ground. Over 4,000 men, women and children packed into large pits. So what killed so many people? And why were they all buried together? The true cause was that somewhere on the planet, in 1257, a volcano exploded and blasted its contents, including poisonous gas and ash, high into the atmosphere, where it dimmed the sun for months, if not years. Mount Barujari is the part of the volcanic system that is still active. It's far too small to be the source of the mystery eruption. But the caldera it sits in is large enough to have been created during a much more powerful eruption. Called the Babad Lombok, this text is a rare account of Lombok's history. And hidden in this document is a remarkable account that historians have dated to the 13th century. Gunung Serenjani Longsor dan Gunung Samalas Runtuh. It describes a huge volcanic eruption that occurred in Lombok. Levine is familiar with Mount Rinjani, mentioned in the text, but not the name of the volcano that's described as collapsing, Mount Samalas. To the experts, it looks like Mount Samalas once stood next to Mount Rinjani, just as the ancient text describes. By extending the existing slopes of the volcano, experts have reconstructed what Mount Samalas looked like. In a magma chamber far beneath the volcano, the pressure rose and finally cracked open the rock above. Magma blasted upwards. As this chamber emptied, it became unstable. The roof of the partially empty chamber then cracked under the weight. The entire top of the volcano caved in. At its peak, the eruption blasted out one million tons of material a second. During the final collapse of the volcano, six cubic miles of pumice and ash then formed giant pyroclastic flows. Racing down, they reached speeds of over 125 miles an hour at temperatures exceeding 800 degrees Celsius. The vast volcanic cloud started to envelop the entire world. Even as far away from the eruption as North America and Europe. The fact that we have so many thousands of people buried in this mass pits as a result of this volcanic eruption just shows us what a global event it was.